Hello everybody and welcome to part 2. In part 1 we made our two hexagons. Now let's continue with our seams. We have to fold our hexagons over so the right sides face each other inside and the wrong side is out. Both hexagons are wrong side out. We will start on the bottom corner and make our seam towards the neckline. I'm starting at the bottom corner. Wrong sides are out and the right sides face each other inside. Make two single crochet around both of the corner spaces. One and two. Go to your first double in the front. Here's the front loop. Behind it is the back loop. Go into the front loop. And then the double in the back, the first one, go into the back loop. And make a slip stitch. So we're slip stitching front loops and back loops together. Go into your next two doubles, the one in the front, front loop, the one in the back, back loop and slip stitch. Front loop, back loop and slip stitch. Front loop, back loop and slip stitch. Here's how the wrong side looks. And on the right side, you get two nice little lines, one on the top and one on the bottom. Here's the wrong side. And here's the right side. When you get towards the neckline and you want to do the triangle for some extra neck space, leave 13 posts empty on each side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and on the back also 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. We are still working into front loops in the front and back loops in the back. Go into the next front loop in the front, pull a loop through and the next one, pull a loop through. Go through two and through two and then go in the back. Go into the next back loop, pull a loop through. Go into the next back loop and pull a loop through. Pull through two and through two and one more time. Next front loop, pull a loop, next front loop, pull a loop, pull through two, through two. Go into the back, pull a loop through the next back loop, and the next back loop, pull through two, and through two. Now we'll repeat the same stitches, but with double crochet, so yarn over. Go through the next two front loops, one, two, then through, two, two, two. Yarn over. Go into the back, one, two, and pull through, two, 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 yarn over, go to the front, one, two, pull through, two, 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 go to the back, yarn over, one, two, pull through, two, 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 now yarn over two times, one, two, go to the next two front loops, one, two, and then pull through two loops four times. One, two, three, four. Then yarn over twice, go to the back. One, two, and again pull through two loops four times. One, two, three, four. Yarn over twice, go into the front. One, two, pull through two loops four times. One, two, three, four. Yarn over twice, go into the back. One, two, pull through two loops four times. One, two, three, four. Yarn over twice. Now we have one more post left. Go around the entire post, pull the yarn through, pull through one loop only, only one. Then through two loops, through two, and through two. Yarn over twice. Go into the back around the entire post, pull the yarn through the post, go through one loop, then through two, two, two. This is how it looks on the wrong side. And when you turn it over, this is the right side. Our back seam is done. Now let's do the sleeve. Everything's still wrong side out. We will start in the corner and work towards the neckline. So here we are on the sleeve. I put the right sides together and I go through two of the corner spaces and make two singles around the corner spaces. 
then a slip stitch, the front loops and the back loops together again. So we have three doubles, one, two slip stitches and the third one. And when we get to the chain spaces, we can make a single crochet around both of the chains. Then three slip stitches again into the two doubles, the two front posts and the two doubles and single crochet around both of the chain spaces. Here's the wrong side and here's how the right side looks. When you get to your next space, you can customize that as well, make more or less stitches. I will make my last single crochet around both of the chain spaces, which gives me an eight inch neck space across. And remember, we also have three final rounds, one with doubles and two with singles. So you get a little extra neck space there as well. Once we've done the first sleeve, let's do the second one. Turn your jacket around and you can start again at the corner and work towards the neckline and repeat the same stitches as before. Here's our neckline. Now let's make our sleeves longer and decrease them. On this jacket, we will make our decreases on top of the sleeve. And we will start with a chainless double. Can you tell where it is? Right here. We can fold our jacket right side out again and start with any of the sleeves. Fold them in half and you can start somewhere on the bottom of the sleeve. The right side is faced towards you. I put a slip knot on my hook and I will make a standalone double crochet and then I double crochet into all of the previous doubles and you can do that all the way around until you get to the shoulder spaces. When you get to the shoulder seam double crochet into the last double crochet, chain one then count the second chain one two Go through the front loop and then also go into the front loop of the second chain on the other side. So first chain, here's the second one. And make a double crochet. Go through the chain space, pull through two loops and finish your double crochet. Chain one. Then double crochet into all of the previous doubles until the end of the round. So in this round, we didn't decrease. We decrease in all of the even numbered rounds. So in the next round, once you finish this round with your last double crochet, make a slip stitch into your first double. And we can start round two with our chainless double. Pull your loop long, maybe a little shorter than your double crochet and twist your hook counterclockwise so you give it one twist. Then go back into the first double where you just made the slip stitch, pull the loop through, then pull through that loop and then behind the second loop so give it a clockwise twist. Twist it around and pull through two loops and that's our chainless double. It looks just like a real double crochet and now double crochet into all of the previous doubles again and we will decrease when we get to the shoulder. Please leave two doubles empty when you get to the first space on the shoulder. So we will crochet those two together and on the other side we crochet those two together. Yarn over, go to the second to last double, pull a loop and to the next double, pull a loop, then pull through two and pull through three loops. Now we double crochet those together and made a decrease. Chain one, double crochet into the one we made into the seam. Chain one and now we can double crochet those two together. Yarn over, pull a loop through the first double and through the second double, pull through two loops and pull through three loops. And now we can double crochet until we get to the end of the round. So we made a decrease to the right of the seam and to the left of the seam. Finish the round, make a last double crochet. Now let's take a look. We have our chainless double. Next to it is our normal double crochet. When you turn it, you can see the normal double crochet and the V-stitch next to it is our chainless double. And when you turn it, you can also see the V-stitch. We're going through that, through the front loop and back loop to make our slip stitch. And we can start round three. And we make again a chainless double, pull the loop long, twist it counterclockwise, 
go through the same v-stitch that you just made the slip stitch into pull through then pull through that loop and behind the first loop and twist it clockwise and pull through two loops and then we can double crochet into all of the doubles and this is an uneven numbered round so we just double crochet into all of the doubles and we won't make any decreases double crochet until you get to the shoulder spaces here's our double that we previously double crochet together double into that chain one double crochet into the one in the middle chain one and here's the other one we double crocheted previous together double crochet into that and then double crochet into the previous doubles until the end of the round so no decreases slip stitch into the standalone double at the end of the round you can turn it a little bit to see make the slip stitch and start round four pull long twist it counterclockwise go into that chain this double again pull the loop through pull through the loop and behind your first loop twist it clockwise and pull through two loops and this is an even numbered round so we will decrease when we get to the shoulder we have our two doubles before the chain space pull through the first double and through the second double pull through two loops and through three chain one double crochet into the double in the middle chain one and double crochet the next two together yarn over pull a loop through the first one and the second one pull through two and through three and double crochet into all of the previous doubles until the end of the round and I want to show you the chain this double one more time at the end of the round make the slip stitch into the v-stitch of the previous chain this double and we can start round five pull long twist go through the chain this double pull a loop pull through the first loop behind the second loop twist it pull through two loops double crochet until you get to the shoulder this is an uneven numbered round, so we won't decrease. Double crochet into the double we previously double crocheted together. Chain one, double crochet into the middle. Chain one and double crochet into the one we previously double crocheted together. And then double into all of the previous doubles. Now you can start round six with a chainless double. And this is an even round, so we have decreases at the shoulder. Double crochet those last two together chain one double crochet into the middle chain one and double crochet the first two together and now you can repeat those rounds let me show you what i did on my sleeve i alternated between decreasing and not decreasing rounds until i got to round 10. right here's round 10 that's a decrease and then i noticed my sleeve is kind of wide so i also decreased round 11 12 13 14 and 15. we make a couple of border rounds try to check it on see if you like it you can make more decreases than i did and remember to make your other sleeve exactly the same way. Our sleeves are done. Now let's add some length to the bottom of our jacket. We will start on the lower right corner of the jacket as we're wearing it, but we will turn it so the wrong side is facing us. And we will go from corner to corner, back and forth in rows, and add length to our jacket. So the wrong side is facing me. This is the lower right corner of the jacket. Let's start row one make two double crochet into the corner space one and two chain two double crochet into the first chain space and make the long back post double treble around the second double below so we're on the wrong side now we have to make the back post and double crochet into the first chain space chain two go to the next space double crochet long back post double treble around the previous one and a double crochet into the same space and chain two so it's the same pattern that we already know from the rows around three sides when you get to the seam make a double crochet your back post around the second double below your double crochet and chain two now here's the space to the right of the seam make a double crochet into that space 
then go into the second chain one two pick up the front loop and go into the second chain of the other side one two also into the front loop and make a double crochet through those front loops and also double crochet into the second chain space chain two and now we can repeat our regular pattern go to your next space make the double the back post the double into that space and chain two and repeat into the next space double crochet back post double crochet chain two and so on finish row one with a double the back post and a double into the chain space and chain two and now we have our corner space left make two doubles into that as well then we can start row two with a chain of three turn your work over now we're looking at the right side make a double crochet into the second double and then three double crochet into the next chain space one two and three chain two and now repeat your right side pattern double crochet front post double crochet and chain two and repeat into all of the chain spaces when you get to the seam make a double the front post around the second double below and a double with a chain of two into the right chain space and into the left chain space so right here we have a chain of two to skip over the cluster of three double crochet and then we can make doubles front posts doubles with a chain of two into all of the chain spaces double crochet three into the last chain space and two into the previous two doubles and we can start row three with a chain of three turn your work over to the wrong side double crochet into the second double and chain two and skip over the cluster of three doubles go into the first space make the double the back post around the previous back post and a double into the first chain space chain two and we can repeat the same pattern that we did in row one i forgot to film the middle part but here it is a little bit later so here are our three doubles that we made around the seam double crochet into the space above it then make the back post around the second double and double crochet into that space and chain two let's finish row three crochet your cluster into the last chain space chain two skip three and make two doubles the last one goes into the third chain below chain three to start row four turn your work and row four is the same as row two double crochet into the second double double crochet three into the chain space one two three chain two and then start your front post repeat and make it into all of the chain spaces here's how we're looking across the seam and you can finish row four make three doubles into the last chain space one two three double into the double and double into the third chain and start your new row chain three turn your work over double crochet into the second double and chain two so now you can repeat row three and four until you like the length of your jacket i added 10 rows now let's finish our jacket with some final border rounds we can start anywhere on the bottom of the jacket and the right side is facing us make one double crochet into any of the chain spaces then double crochet into the first double double crochet into the long front post double treble and double crochet into the second double crochet let's repeat double crochet into the chain space double crochet into the double into the front post and into the second double and repeat until you get to the corner when you get to the corner make one double into the chain space and then four doubles into the previous four and leave the last one empty we will use that as our corner space make five doubles right around the entire post of that last double crochet one two three four and five we have our corner now we work two doubles into each of the posts going up the front 
Grab your next post and around the entire post make two doubles. One, two, and go into the next post. Make two doubles around that. One and two. Two doubles around the next post. One, two, and I just go around the posts. I skip over that stitch and I go around the post alone. And you can do that until you get to the corner space. When we get to our little corner space, double crochet two into the corner space. And very easy, double crochet along the side until you get to the neckline. The next corner is our neckline. And we leave that last post empty again to make the corner around it. Make two doubles around that post, one and two, and then around the same post make a half double crochet, and still around the same post make a single crochet, and now we can crochet around our neckline. We go around each post again, this time we make two singles around each post, go into the next post, make two singles, around the entire post, one, two, next post, one, in two and you can do that until you get to the shoulder seam. Now your shoulder seam may look a little bit different than mine depending on how long you made it. But when you get to the seam, I'm almost done here, make one stitch to the right of the seam. So for me that's a chain space. And then make one single crochet to the left of the seam into that stitch. But still around the post. So we have a tighter inside corner and then go around the posts again and make two single crochet into each of the posts or around each of the posts until you get to the back where we made our triangle. Now here's our triangle and I will make three single crochet around the first post. One, two, three, then one single crochet right into the middle. I go through that stitch in the middle, make a single crochet into that and then we can repeat exactly the same stitches on the other side. Three singles around the long post of the triangle and then two single crochet around each of the posts that we have and we do that again until we get to the seam. So we're repeating exactly the same stitches on this side that we did on the other side. Now here's my shoulder seam, so I make only one single crochet to the right and to the left of the seam. One single here and one single over there. And then again around each of the posts. I think this one has a loose end sewn into it, it's a little bulky. So two singles around the whole post. So two single crochet around each post and then we leave the last post empty again and we will use that for our corner and we will work the stitches in opposite order. So no yarn over, sorry. So single crochet around that last post, half double crochet around the last post and two doubles around the last post. So they're exactly in reversed order as before. And then we can double crochet around the front, double crochet into all of the doubles. Now let's take a look how our neckline looks after round one. We can repeat the same stitches on this side. Double crochet down the front. When you get to the chain space, make two doubles into the chain space. Then two doubles around each post and leave the last post empty and make five doubles for the corner into that post. Four doubles. On the bottom one two three four and then one double into the chain space and three doubles into each of the stitches again 
I will change my color in the next round. You don't have to do it, but I think it looks really pretty. So I will make an invisible join, cut my yarn, pull it out of the last double crochet and thread a needle. Then I skip over the first double, go into the second double, front loop and back loop, then top down into the last double crochet through the back loop and a little back bump. And I go top down into that first double crochet. So we have three pieces of yarn go into that stitch. And then you can sew in your loose end. And I will switch my color for the next round. And you can start anywhere on the bottom of the jacket again. In this round, we are single crocheting into all of the previous doubles. And we can do that until we get to the corner and then we'll do the corner together again. When we make our corner, we want to make sure it lays flat. So here's what I did. I doubled up in the first, second, third and fourth double out of the five that we made into the corner. And I made only one single crochet into the fifth double. Take a look at your corner. If it's curling in like that, you want to add more stitches. If it's a little wavy like that, you want to take some stitches out but make sure it's laying flat. Then single crochet up the front until you get to the neckline. Here's the corner where we made two doubles, the half double and the single around the last post. I single crochet two into the first double, two into the second double, two into the half double, but only one into the single crochet. My corner is flat. Make sure your corner is flat too and you can change accordingly. Then single crochet into all of the previous stitches until you get to the shoulder seam. We have one single to the right of the seam and one to the left of the seam. We will crochet those together, pull a loop through the first one and pull a loop through the second one, pull through three loops and single crochet until you get to the next seam. So now we have a nice outside corner and a nice inside corner. Now at the next shoulder seam, we crochet the two singles together again, the one to the right of the seam with the one to the left of the seam. Pull through three loops and now crochet until you get to the corner and we will repeat the same stitch as we did on the other corner but in reverse order. Here's my second corner with the single, the half double and the two doubles. I made a single crochet into the single, two singles into the half double, two singles into the first double and into the second double. Then I crocheted 10 single crochet and made my first buttonhole. So here's where I doubled up into the double. Then I made two, four, six, eight, ten 10 singles, chain three, skip three. Then again, 10 singles, chain three, skip three. And I made six buttonholes like that. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we can make our bottom corner, but in reverse order than before. Here are the five doubles we made into the corner. I made one single crochet into the first double and then two singles into the second, third, fourth and into the fifth double. Now we can crochet along the bottom until the end of the round. I would like to switch my color again, so I make the invisible join. Cut the yarn, thread a needle. Skip over the first single, go into the second one, front loop and back loop. Then top down into the last single crochet through the back loop and a little back bump and we can sew our loose end in towards the left and start our last round on the bottom of the jacket again. And in this last round we'll single crochet again into all of the previous singles until we get to the corner. In the previous round I doubled up in the first double, the second one, the third one and the fourth one. I single crochet into the first single, then two singles into the second single, one, two, one into the third single, two into the fourth single, one and two, one into the fifth single and then two again into the sixth single, one and two. My corner looks good. I tried it already a couple of times, so now I can just single crochet everywhere else. See and try yours out. Make sure it lays flat and remember the sequence for the other side. Now we can single crochet until we get to the collar. Now in the previous round, I doubled up three times on the collar. This time I will double up two times. I single crochet into the first single, then two into the second one, one and two, one into the third one, 
and two into the fourth one and that's all I'm going to do again adjust your stitches if your collar doesn't lie flat and make sure you repeat the same stitches in reverse order on the other corner single crochet until you get to the inside corner and leave three stitches empty the second one is the one we previously single crochet together we crochet the first one together pull a loop the second one that's the one we previously single crochet together and pull a loop through the third stitch we have four loops pull through four loops and then single crochet until you get to the next inside corner then on the second inside corner leave three stitches empty again the second one is the one we previously single crochet together pull a loop through the first one the second one and a third single and pull through four loops and now single crochet until you get to the next corner so in the other corner I doubled up into the second and into the fourth single that's the same thing that I'm going to do here I will single crochet in reversed order I single crochet into the first one and into the second one now here is one two three four singles from the left I will double up into that one and two then only one single into the next stitch and then two singles into the next stitch one and two now we can single crochet until we get to the buttonholes single crochet into the last single before the chain space then single crochet four around the chain space one two three and four and now we can single crochet ten into the previous ten and single crochet four around each of the chain spaces then i work my bottom corner in reverse order here's the single crochet that went into the corner double i single crochet into the first three singles one two three then i double up into the fourth one one and two single crochet into the fifth one double up into the sixth one one and two single crochet into the seventh one and single crochet two into the eighth one one and two once we done our corner we can single crochet along the bottom now if your corner is a little bit different than mine that's okay just make it the same as the other corner now you can repeat the same three rounds on your sleeves i only made one round of single crochet because my sleeves were already long enough then i put my buttons in the same spacing that i did my chains i bought some buttons but they're a little too big so i made my own please drop a comment if you want a video on how to make them our jacket is done i hope you love it as much as i do and i hope to see you next time bye bye